Hello, I'm Glenn Morgan and I work for Element Materials Technology in Hitchin in the UK. Uh, two years ago, Element bought out Materials Engineering Research Laboratory, or MERL, which had been working for about 25 years in the oil and gas industry, looking at uh, non-metallics or polymeric, polymeric materials uh, and their interaction with the fluids involved in production and exploration in the oil and gas industry. One of the fluids that we test polymers with is hydrogen sulphide, um, which obviously is a very toxic gas uh, and even at quite low levels can kill you. Um, in the laboratory, there's a, a working limit, an eight hour working limit of 10 parts per million, and we have our alarm set at 5 ppm. Um, what tends to happen with uh, polymers in hydrogen sulfide is, for example, a, uh, an opaque or a white or a clear thermoplastic will discolour in contact with hydrogen sulfide until it eventually becomes dark brown or even black. Uh, and associated with this there is a loss in mechanical performance, uh, shrinkage, loss of adhesion and general degradation of performance. For Silver Fox we have performed some exposure tests with hydrogen sulphide uh, in order to accelerate uh, uh, what might happen in, uh, uh, in the field, uh, we performed some experiments with uh, hydrogen sulphide at 2% levels, which is 20,000 parts per million, compared to the 10 ppm that you might have as your uh, working limit. Uh, and we performed these tests at 10 bar at 30 centigrade for seven days, which we estimated was equivalent to 50 years of service in a continuous 10 parts per million atmosphere. And we exposed a number of uh, labels and samples for Silver Fox and uh, all their materials uh, remained unaffected by the hydrogen sulphide.